Uh, so I'm back again. So here is the underside of the wing. And you can see the retracts here, obviously. And those are E-flight retracts. And the SIG Cougar does not call for retracts. And so I had to figure out how to put them in. And uh, so they're really securely mounted. They've got two basswood beams in, in each one, and they extend plenty far enough to distribute the load. And then it's got a balsa wood cavity here. And then it's got um, a hole going um, out the bottom here. It comes up through the top of the wing for the servo leads there. And there's the aileron servo. Um, so, and these fit just flush. And uh, their space is a little tiny bit further out than what the standard wheels were. And these are Robart wheels, which are kind of cool. And I painted them silver, which is no big deal, but it just looks just a little bit better. So, uh, a little bit more military. And it's a uh, monocoat covered, and the wing is foam and then sheeted with balsa wood. And uh, then you cover with monocoat. And then the Thunderbird insignia, the bird here, that's one piece of monocoat. And uh, I designed it and cut it out kind of carefully and uh, ironed it on there and it's pretty free of bubbles, looks pretty decent. And then here is a fuselage and then uh, try to pick this up. So here you can see, here you can see the, uh, the shelf I made for the retract. The basswood shelf there and then the hole for the retract where I had to cut the uh, the bottom out to make room for the retract and it it clears it but there's not much room but it's it's a, it's a good fit and then the radio insulation of course and what you see there's a piece of velcro and that holds the battery and I made a special um I made it I designed it so the fuel tank can be removed if for any reason you take have to take the fuel tank out it can be removed and then the battery goes right behind it, so the CG is right. So you can see the battery there with the white on the end of it and the piece of uh, uh, Velcro over it. And then behind that is a, um, a vertical uh, balsa wood, uh, like a bulkhead, but that is just lightly tacked in place to hold it in place, and that retains the battery. And so uh, if you need to take the battery out, you just take the Velcro out to pull the battery out. If you need to take the fuel tank out, you just take that bulkhead out and um, pull the battery out and I made a little strap on the back of the battery to make it easy to pull out and then the servos are standard high-tech servos and the throttle push rod is comes off the um, this left servo here and crosses to the other side of the fuselage and then up to the um, to the motor inside there you can just barely see the yellow push rod and I had to do it that way because that the rudder had to be on the left and so then the, there's a rudder uh, servo on, on the top there with the uh, uh, nye rod going aft and then one forward to the nose wheel. And uh, so uh, everything's real clean. I put a uh, doubler inside the fuselage there. Uh, that little square thing you see there, that's for the, the pipe mount. But then it turned out the pipe mount was going to go forward, so I didn't put one in there. And I replaced the screw they give you with a nut and bolt with a nylock nut, so it's good and secure. And if it has to be taken out, it can be. The purple line is a pressure line, which I ran inside the fuselage to make it nice and clean. And you can see how it routes to the motor. <coughs> and then, <laughs> one thing I did that he couldn't figure out what it was, I put a hole in the fuselage. The hole was for the window for the fuel tank. So you can see what the fuel level is. You know, and so it's real easy. And then the fueler is right there. The black thing is the fueler. So it makes it real simple, and there's a switch for the on-off for the, um, the receiver right there. It's just a wire sticking out of the fuselage, which is nice and clean. So what it amounts to is the, the left side of the fuselage has nothing sticking out of it, nothing at all. And I change it to put the elevator, I mean the rudder push rod on the, the right side, so you see nothing on the left side. And there it is right there. So, and the rudder, I mean the elevator push rod, <laughs> exits out of the, shit, the tail end of the fuselage there, which is real cool. It's kind of a neat thing about cougars. It looks kind of slick. So anyway, that's it.